Bleach bypass is a film processing method that involves reducing or completely skipping the normal bleaching stage. By doing this, the film retains its natural silver elements along with the colors. In addition, the processing increases contrast, reduces saturation, and intensifies the grain. Those elements together can create a dynamic world that feels raw and intense. There are several ways to recreate this look today using digital tools. One of the methods is to superimpose a black and white image on top of the original using the overlay blending mode. The first step is to do an initial correction to set the image in a good position. Even though you may want to crush the blacks and blow out the highlights for the final look, you should always have the option to go back to a clean and balanced image with all the information retained. By using the primary sliders, you can make very precise adjustments on specific parts of each color channel and balance the image out really fast. When the base grade is set up, continue by adding a new node and a layer node. Now you have two versions of the same clip. Desaturate one of the versions. Click the layer mixer and choose Overlay for the Composite Mode drop-down menu. You can control the results by adjusting the contrast in both versions. It's generally a good idea to leave the main exposure node untouched and separate your look creation from the base grade. This might work for you, but there's a more sophisticated way to create the look. Using the RGB gain values will give you a much finer control over the silver retention. This method also requires good neutral balance and a proper exposure, so we will build upon our base grade. Now, add a new node and go to the primary tab. Lower the RGB gain by moving the gamma slider. Then, increase the Y only gain to introduce the silver tint. You can then fine-tune the contrast by adjusting the Y-only lift and Y-only gamma. The Y-only controls will change the luminance levels without affecting the chroma all that much. The Y-only curve works the same way, but with a more detailed control. Add a new node and further enhance the saturation by changing the global saturation, if necessary. For even greater control, you can use the Loom for SAT curve to control saturation in specific luminance ranges. The original look was often associated with crushed blacks and blown out highlights, but in more modern representation of bleach bypass, it's not uncommon to see more details throughout the whole range of the image. When you're happy with the look, add some grain to give some extra texture to the image. You can add grain by using the built-in plugin or overlay plates of real film scan grain from, e.g., Syngrain. Even though all the movies mentioned earlier are known for bleach bypass, they look completely different because of the different processing styles. In Avita, the lab retained only about 38% of the silver, and in Seven, they did a complete bypass. Different stocks, exposure, negative flashing, and other factors are also an important part in determining the final look.